Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we shall be seeing a very quick uh, video about the peripheral blood smear of an iron deficiency anemia. Uh, whenever you see for an, any any peripheral blood smear, please always check out the size of the RBC with the lymphocyte. Okay, the lymphocyte and the RBC size are almost similar, around seven to eight. Okay, and so in this image, if you see this, okay, the this this is the RBC, right? This is the RBC, RBC. And the lymphocyte appears to be bigger, right? Actually, the lymphocyte size is same, but the lympho uh, the RBC size is reduced, right? So this is one thing. Along with this, if you see the central clearing, this central clearing, this is the central clearing. It has been increased, okay? In iron deficiency anemia, it is increased. So size is reduced from the lymphocyte. The central clearing is increased. Along with this, if you see for the shape, now if you see here this one, uh, if you see here, it is more of like it is, uh, it is more of like oval shape right so it's been put longitudinal shape right this is not circular this is one thing along with this you can see the shape at uh, the size of the rbc's are not uniform so you see this size and again see this size again see this size again this see this size this is not uniform this is smaller this is bigger again smaller mixed and all this so this is how you know that this is an uh, peripheral blood smear of an iron deficiency anemia again i want to repeat again the shape of this compared with the rbc with the lymphocyte and the central clearing is increased and the shape of all the rbcs are not uniform this is the uh, peripheral blood smear of an iron deficiency anemia